All right. Ugly Pacino. And Eyes the Hill. I'm going to try not to make this too long. Breakfast Club gave Brett Favre and many others recently Donkey of the Day. Brett Favre deserves his Donkey of the Day. But I want to say this. Let me take a sip of this uh, Snapple. This tea Snapple. I think it's utterly ridiculous that the Breakfast Club refused to give Chad Wheeler Donkey of the Day. For number one, being accused. Because, well... Y'all gave Ducky of the day to people who have been accused of things. Secondly, they should have got Ducky of the day for pleading not guilty. Why not? I'm I'm curious to know why I why have y'all gave this man Ducky of the day? Because he's a white man, he beat a black woman, and it doesn't fit the narrative of protect black women. Because y'all won't say that, ho. Y'all won't say that though, will you? <laughs> We'll keep this running. Hopefully, I don't get. Yeah, everybody want to do stuff on my when I record my video. Anywho, one take. I think it's ridiculous that I watch on YouTube. Uh, shout out to a few people that I have seen. Uh, a special shout out to Sipper Mocha. Uh, I like her. She actually did uh, content about Chad Wheeler, but there's not enough black women on YouTube who are actually calling out what we see. But I get it. See, it's a lot of women who like swirling. It's a lot of black women who like white men. So it definitely don't fit your narrative for mm, seeing a white man beat up on a black woman. Now, I, for one, don't have any problem with interracial marriages, interracial, interracial relationships. Because I've said on many occasions, I've only been with one white girl. But all of my ex-girlfriends, or whatever the case may be, whether if I had sex with them, they all been black, except one. But if I fall in love with a chick who orange, purple, or yellow, then that's my business, and that's who I like or who I love. I can't help who I fall in love with, and I understand you can't help it. But I watch many things being said about Ray Rice, Tory Lanez, who has yet to even be a he had be proven guilty. Y'all threw that man to the wolves. I don't think there was not one black female YouTuber who didn't say he's guilty before proven innocent. Maybe it's a couple, but I seen too many to sit up and be convinced that, well, let's just call Chad Will out the same way. By the way, she gave him an excuse as to why he did what he did because he was off his meds. Do y'all understand that him being on medication and being that he's off his meds by her saying that, that helps his defense. Y'all do understand this, right? Now, he's going to get his NFL suspension. But we might, let's play the race card. Maybe, maybe good, good, Goodell might get him a slap on the wrist. But let's talk about Ezekiel Elliott. Charles White, he, he live again. Ezekiel Elliott wasn't even proven guilty. They threw him to the wolves. Y'all talked about him fucking with a white girl. Y'all remember? That's what you get for fucking with the white bitches. Ain't that, ain't that what y'all said? We forget. We ain't got amnesia. I hope not. So here we go. Breakfast Club refused to give Chad Wheeler donkey of the day for being accused or Pleading not guilty. <clears throat> yeah, we know. There's a lot of secret squirrels out there. Fuck secret squirrels. Secret squirrels. We know. Shout out to the black women who do speak up for any woman being abused. Even when you can clearly see that he's guilty before proving innocent now the next motherfucker I see on here that's a black female talk about Tory Lanez if you haven't spoke about Chad Wheeler 
Fuck your opinion. I'm going to speak also for black men because I know it's a lot of black men who have spoke up with the intent to defend the black woman that Chad Willow abused. And I think that y'all should be ashamed of that because we always talk about how we don't protect the black woman. But I see a lot of black women defending her because y'all want to be quiet. Now, my last video on this particular guy got a lot of dislikes. And we know why. You were mad because, damn, thought she had a rich white boy until she got her ass kicked. But remember, I'm going to repeat it again. She said he was off his meds. So she's defending his behavior. And they probably will be back together. You know, kind of how like y'all try to tra uh, talk shit about Kobe Bryant cheating on his wife. And she took him back. Remember that? Y'all was mad because she didn't leave him? Hmm. Well, we got amnesia when it's convenient, don't it? Kind of remind me of these communities on YouTube. The Sega Pacino, no intro, no outro. Pretty girls to the dance floor, ugly girls to the parking lot. We out.